Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the lectures of analytical chemistry. In our last lectures, we have seen several videos on the chromatographic techniques. Okay, and I have already made some videos on the polarography and different type of titrations and several other topics that are quite important for the CSIR net as well as for the GET exam. Okay, so today. As you have seen my lecture of polarography, if you have not seen the lecture of polarography, you can see that you will get the link of the video in the description box. Okay, I have already made a lecture on the polarography that is quite sufficient for you. Okay, so now today we are seeing the questions that are based on the polarographic technique. Today we will see the questions from the GATT exam. Okay, and in our next lecture we will see some more questions from the CSIR NET exam. So both type of questions will be solved. Okay, so stay with us and see these lectures. And if you have not seen the lecture of polarography, then you can find the link in the description box. Okay, so see this question. Question is from GET 2017. What is the question? The diffusion limiting current ID at dropping mercury electrode for an aqueous mg second solution of concentrated concentration C. We have given that the concentration of the solution is C moles per liter, and its limiting current is 300 microampere. If C is increased by 0.1 moles per liter, ID increases to 900 microampere. The value of C in this is in the value of C in moles per liter is okay. So we have given the diffusion limiting current of the dropping mercury electrode that is 300 microampere when the concentration is C. Okay, and when the concentration is increased from C to 0.1, it means when we are increasing the concentration from C to G by 0.1 means C plus 0.1. We are doing the concentration. Then the value of I D is increasing by 900 microampere. Then we have to find out the value of this concentration term C. So what thing we have given? First thing we have given the diffusion current's value. I D one is given to us 300 microampere. Okay. And then you have given the diffusion current I D two is equal to 900 microampere. Okay. Then you have given the concentration terms. Concentration of mg second solution is equal to c okay first time its concentration is c and when the diffusion current is 900 microampere then the concentration will be equal to c plus 0.1 okay now we have to find out the value of c what is the c you have to find it okay so see here we know that the diffusion current id is directly proportional to concentration term okay If you have seen the lecture of polarography, you know that the diffusion current is directly proportional to concentration. So we can now write I D one upon I D two will be equal to C one upon C two. Okay. Now just you have to put here the values. So what you are getting three hundred divided by nine hundred will be equal to C upon C plus zero point one. This will cancel out here, and you are getting three here, right? So our equation becomes 3C is equal to C plus 0.1, or we can write here 2C is equal to 0.1. So what is the value of C? That is equal to 0.1 divided by 2. It means its value will be 0.05 moles per liter. Okay. So this will be your value. This is your answer. Okay, so value of C is 0.05 moles per liter. Now see the next question. Okay, let's see the next question from the GET 2015. What is the question? The limiting current in microampere for the reduction of 3 into 10 to power minus 4 molar PV plus 2 using a dropping mercury electrode DME with characteristic mass m is equal to 3 milligrams per second and T is equal to 3 second is We have given diffusion coefficient of PV plus 2 is 1.2 into 10 to power minus 5 centimeter square per second. Okay. Now, if you have seen the lecture, you know 
there is an important equation, Ilkovic equation. That is I D is equal to 607 and D to power half C M to power 2 by 3 and T to power 1 by 6. Okay, I have told you about this equation. So, just you have to put here the values. You have given the different values. T you have given. T is equal to 3 seconds. Okay, here you have given M. M is equal to 3.0 milligrams per second. Okay, then you have given the concentration and you have to find out the concentration in millimoles per liter. So, you have given that in moles. So, 3 into 10 to power minus 4 into you have to do the 10 to power minus 3. So, you are getting 3 into 10 to power minus 1. Okay, or you can write 0 0.3. Okay, now D. D will be equal to 1.2 into 10 to power minus 5 centimeter square per second. Just you have to put here the values. ID is equal to 607 into 2 into number of moles. You have seen here 2 moles are involved because you have given PV plus 2. Okay, PV plus 2 is given. So, value of N is equal to 2. Right? Now, put here the value of D. 1.2 into 10 to power minus 5 to power half. Okay? Then, concentration term 0.3. Then, value of M, you have given 3. 3 to power 2 by 3. And then, time. You have given 3 seconds. 3 to power 1 by 6. When you are give, doing it by the calculator, you can use the calculator. So, you will get the answer 3.66 micro ampere. Okay. You can put here the values of the units. Okay. So, that you can get your answer. Answer will be 3.66 micro ampere. Let's see the next question. Okay. Now, see the next question from the GET 2013. The question is descriptive type. Okay. Just you have to see the analyze the question. There is no numerical in this question. See here, what is the question? Polarographic method of analysis to obtain individual amounts of Cu plus 2 and Cd plus 2 in a given mixture of two ions, Cu plus 2 and Cd plus 2, is achieved by measuring there. What we can measure and we can analyze the different amounts of Cu plus 2 and Cd plus 2. For this, what will you have to analyze? Either it is half wave potential, or it is migration current, or it is decomposition potential, or it is diffusion current. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. If you have seen the lecture, you already know that for finding out the amounts, you will have to use the diffusion current. Why? Because we know that the polarographic methods, if you are seeing, these methods are voltammetric measurements. These are based on voltammetric measurements. And here, what is used? Diffusion mass transport concept is used. Okay. So, we use here diffusion current. Both metal ions will have different standard potentials. Okay. They have different standard potentials. So, they will produce different diffusion currents. Okay. So, just by analyzing their diffusion currents, we can find out their amount. So, the right answer is option number D. Okay. So, these are some of the questions from the GATT exam. I hope you will like this video. In our next lecture, we will see some more questions that are from the CSIR NET exam. Okay. If you are liking my videos, please share it with the other students so that they can also get the help. Okay. And this will also support to me. And if you are liking the videos, please subscribe the channel and please like, please comment. Thank you.